Well, good evening and welcome to Gateway Church Cymru Online. My name is Luke Morgan and I'm the pastor of Gateway and I want to give you a warm welcome this evening. Thank you for joining us for our online prayer meeting. You know, I'm so glad that we're still able to come and call upon God at this time. And I want to encourage you tonight, if you've got a prayer request, then please send it in to us. You can do it by posting it in the comments, in the comment section, or you can also message us through our website as well, gatewaychurchcymru.co.uk forward slash prayer requests. We'd love to join with you in praying for your need, your circumstance, or even the circumstance of a loved one at this time, because we believe that prayer changes things. Well, tonight we're going to be diving into God's word together, and we're going to be praying a little later on as well. But maybe we can open up our time together tonight with prayer. And wherever you're watching this from tonight, I want to encourage you, please join with me. Let's call upon God to meet with us this evening. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you tonight that you are the prayer answering God. Lord, I thank you tonight that prayer changes things. And Lord, most importantly, that you change things, Lord, through prayer. Lord, I thank you that we have this privilege of speaking with you, of communion with you, Lord, on a day-by-day basis. And Lord, I just pray tonight that, that your will would be done, Lord. Lord, that even tonight there would be a, an incredible release of, of your power this evening, Lord. Lord, I pray even for miracles this evening, even in our homes, O oh God. Lord, and I pray tonight that faith would rise for you to do great things within our lives, within this nation. Lord, I pray you will stir us through your word tonight, Lord God. Help us in our praying by your spirit. And Lord, we ask this so that your will would be done and Jesus, your name would be glorified. We ask this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, tonight we're going to continue with our series that we've been going through over the last couple of weeks, which is called Four Things to Pray For. You know, we've been looking at four things that we can pray for as believers. And we've been basing ourselves in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18 to 20. And we're going to dive into that in a moment. But the third thing that we can pray for, last last time we looked at perspective and the time before that we looked at peace. The third thing that we can pray for is power. And that's what I want to talk about tonight, is the power that we receive through prayer. You know, I'm sure that many of us would, would long to be powerful prayers. I'm, long, I'm sure that many of us long to see God's power released as we call upon him, as we pray. But, you know, I would argue that, that although many of us want to be powerful in prayer, we want to have a fr- fruitful prayer life, we want to see God's power released. I would argue tonight that many of us don't see the power of God released because we don't believe that prayer has power. It's as simple as that. I think sometimes we think that our prayers just hit the ceiling. I know I do on many occasions. I'm being honest. You know, sometimes I just think that my prayer is hitting the ceiling and it's not going to have any effect. You know, sometimes we can even go into into praying and into prayer meetings with that perspective that, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know what, tonight I can, I'm going to say a few words, but it's not going to change anything. Or maybe you think that even when you pray during the day, you know, I, I don't know why I'm saying this. I don't know why I'm bothering with this. You know, it's not going to change anything. But, you know, I really believe and I've experienced this in my life. I've seen God's power released in my life that I believe that God's power is released when we pray. I know if we look in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18 to 20, Paul, he, he, he's given us a target to pray for. He's given us something to pray for. You know, Paul isn't just saying us to pray aimlessly and pray for anything and pray for all these different things. And, you know, Paul isn't just encouraging us, you know, go on, have a have a great prayer life, you know, just say a little prayer just to comfort you and help you. But actually, in Ephesians 6, verse 18 to 20, he gives us an object to pray for. Listen to this. Ephesians 6, verse 18 to 20. It says, pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for believers everywhere. And pray for me. Pray for me too. Ask God to give me the right words so I can boldly explain God's mysterious plan. And the good news is for Jews and Gentiles alike. I am in chains now, still preaching this message as God's ambassador. So pray that I will keep on speaking boldly for him as I should. You know, it's interesting. Something that Paul keeps repeating here in his letter to to the Ephesians. He says there, stay alert and pray for me too. Pray. He goes on, he says, pray that, that I'll be able to explain God's mysterious plan of salvation, the good news of Jesus. He says, pray for me as I bo- that I might know God's boldness as I speak the gospel. You know, he's asking the believers in Ephesus to pray for him. And you know, this isn't just something that he does in this letter to the, the Christians in, in Ephesus. 
But it's actually, if you read right away throughout his letters in the New Testament, even the letters to, to the Romans or the letters to Galatians and, and Thessalonians, all these different letters that he writes, Colossians, you know, we see that Paul is actually asks people on many times in, in many different churches, many believers, he asks them to pray. You know, if Paul thought that prayer was just a comfort blanket or something just to help us cope through difficult times, then I'm sure he would never go to that effort of asking people to pray for him. He's constantly asking people to pray for him. Pray that he's asking them to pray that he would have boldness, asking them to pray that he would know God's power, asking them to pray that he would be able to minister and do the work of the ministry that God had called him to do. I know he also encourages other people as well. Don't stop, but pray for other people. Pray for other people. Never stop praying. You know, why did Paul ask for prayer? Why did he ask for prayer? Why did he encourage other people to pray? I believe the reason he asked for prayer and he, other, he encouraged other people is because he knew that the power of God is released in response to prayer. God's power is released when we pray. God's power is released when we pray, we have to recognise that the prayer has power. Prayer has power. And this is something that Satan, the enemy, would like to, to uh, eradicate from the minds and the hearts of believers everywhere. This is something that he doesn't want the church listening to. But I want you to know tonight that prayer has power. There is power in prayer. I believe that the way that the church will move forward and advance in its mission and do all that God has called it to do and to be all that God has called it to be is through prayer. You know, I believe the circumstances will change through prayer. I believe churches will rise up through prayer. I believe God will move through our nation through prayer. That is why we pray. I believe lives will be turned around through prayer. Why? Because there is power in prayer. Listen to even what it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. It says, we use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. In other words, even here, Paul is writing to the Corinthians saying there is power. Here, one of God's mighty weapons is prayer. You know, it's been said that prayer moves the hand of God into action. Prayer moves the hand of God into action. You know, I've said this many times before, but one of my favorite, favorite preachers uh, is Leonard Ravenhill. He's a, a great preacher, a prophet of the 20th century. And he says this. He says the only, po only power that God yields to is that of prayer. It's amazing, isn't it? The only power that God yields to is that of prayer. God moves in response to prayer. God changes things through prayer. But, you know, we have to realise as well tonight that the prayer and the power and especially the power in prayer, it isn't just found in praying or in a method. The power is actually found in the one in which we call in on. There's no real power in us just communicating with God. The power is when we place our trust in God and rely on God and call upon God. The power is with God himself. It is not in our words or what we could say. The power is in God himself. God alone is all powerful. So how do we do this? You might be wondering. How do we pray for the power of God? Well, I believe we need to pray readily. If we want the power of God in our lives, if we want to see the power of God released in our lives, then we need to pray readily. And in other words, we need to pray in faith. You know, it says this in, in James chapter 5, verse 16. It says, the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. The earnest prayer. In other words, it's saying the, the, you know, the persistent prayers. But I also believe this means that the, those people who keep praying because they believe in, they persist in, because they keep believing and trusting that God will answer. That has great power. It produces wonderful results. You know, if we want to see the power of God released when we pray, then we need to pray in faith. And, you know, I thank God tonight that this isn't something that we have to conjure up. But even as we hear from Pastor Rob on Sunday evening, the faith is a gift from God. Faith comes from hearing God's word. Faith comes as we pray. Faith comes as from the Holy Spirit. Faith comes through God. It is a gift from God. And ask God tonight to, to give you faith, to believe when you pray. I want to encourage you to do that. You know, I, I really believe it's time for us as believers and churches to rise up and start praying bold prayers again. Why not? 
Why not pray for an incredible revival? Why not pray for churches to, to be packed out with hundreds and thousands of people like we see elsewhere? Why not? Let's believe for God to do great things. Why not believe for this to cause an incredible spark uh, and a move of God that we've never seen before in our time? Let's pray for that because prayer changes things. He is the same God. He is the God who parted the Red Seas. He is the God who was raised from the dead. He is the God who, of revival. He is the God who is able and he hasn't changed. The Bible says he is the same yesterday, today and forever. With God, the Bible says all things are possible. And so I want to encourage you when you pray, don't just come and you know just expect your prayers to hit the ceiling. But pray in faith because God hears our prayers God answers our prayers. Believe that God will respond to your prayer. We pray with expectation for God to answer and move. Know tonight, the prayer means power. If you want to see the power of God released in your life, it only comes when we pray and we call upon God. And I don't want to see the power of God released in your home. I'd love to see the power of God released in our church. I'd love to see the power of God released in our land again. And that will only come as we pray. So I want to encourage you right now, as we've done all the previous weeks, we're going to take 30 seconds and it's going to pop up on the screen right now. And I want to encourage you, take 30 seconds and just ask God for his power to be released in your life, in your home life, in your family, in this nation. Just ask God just to release his power in your life right now. Well, we're going to continue to pray right now and we're going to pray for all the needs that have been coming in this evening and over the last few weeks and months. And I want us to pray tonight in faith. Let's ask God to increase our faith, to give us faith when we pray that we might see incredible breakthrough. Let's pray for breakthroughs in homes. Let's pray for breakthroughs in relationships. Let's pray for breakthroughs with job circumstances, with university applications, with exams and all these different things. Let's pray that God will bring breakthrough. Let's pray God will bring direction. Let's pray that God will bring healing at this time. Let's pray that God will bring salvation at this time. So all these requests that have been coming in, let's join together and let's pray for them tonight. Amen. Lord, we thank you tonight that you're the all-powerful God that you are the resurrected saviour, Jesus, that you conquered sin and death, that all power belongs to you, O Lord. Lord, I thank you tonight that you are greater than all. And Lord Jesus, I just pray this evening for every single request that has come in. Lord, I pray for all those who are sick tonight. And Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will heal them. Lord, I believe that you are the healer, that you are able, Lord, that there is no sickness that is too difficult for you to heal. So I pray right now in Jesus' name, bring healing. Those with coronavirus, I pray, bring healing, Lord. Those with cancer tonight, bring healing in Jesus' name. Lord, those with other sicknesses, I pray in your name, bring healing tonight. Lord, we thank you that you are the healer. Lord, I pray tonight for direction, for those who need direction. I pray you will bring about, Lord, provision, Lord, tonight. Lord, I pray in your name that you will bring restoration tonight. Lord, I pray you will bring breakthrough, Lord, in hard hearts. Lord, those who haven't accepted you as a Lord and Savior. Lord, we trust in you. And so, Lord, we ask for your power to be released in our homes, in our lives. And Lord, also our nation at this time. Release your power, O oh God. Lord, may we see the strongholds of the enemy brought down in Jesus' name. May we see the church rise up. May we see your spirit move, O oh God. May we see lives turn to you, O oh Lord. Lord, we just pray and ask this in your name. May your power be released. Lord, we thank you and ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I want to encourage us as we just come to a conclusion of our prayer time. Let's just pray right now for our nation. You know, we've already just touched on it, but let's pray for our land, that the power of God will be released. And I want to pray tonight, especially for all believers, that we would know the power of God in being able to witness to our family members and friends and all those who don't know Jesus. Let's pray for the miraculous to take place. You know, let's believe for even the gifts of the Spirit to, to be released as well. You know, they aren't just meant for just the church. You know, let's pray that the gifts of the Spirit will be in operation as we open up our lives to God. Let's just pray for there to be a release of God's miraculous power in our land. Amen. Let's pray. 
Lord, we just thank you tonight that you are the all-powerful God. And Lord, I just pray tonight for you to move, Lord. Lord, I pray for the miraculous. Lord, I pray for you to just do great things, Lord. Lord, so often in the Bible, Lord, we read of story after story of you performing miraculous acts. And Lord, I pray we would see it in our time. Not for the miracle's sake, but Lord, for your name's sake, for your name to be glorified. Lord, I pray you would bring, Lord, backsliders to return. Lord, I pray that you will bring healing to our nation, O oh God. I pray, Lord, that you will melt hard hearts, Lord. I pray, perform miracles in our time, Lord. Lord, we will see signs and wonders. I pray for boldness for all believers to share about you. I pray for the gifts of the Spirit to be released, O oh God, through your people at this time. May we be a people who will walk, walk and are led by your Spirit, Lord. Lord, that we would shine your light and share your gospel to those all around us. Lord, I pray for the incredible power of God to be released at this time. Lord, we thank you and ask this in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask your kingdom to come, Lord, and your will will be done. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, it's been so great that we've been able to join together. And I want to encourage you, keep praying for the power of God. Let's keep praying for the peace of God and for God's perspective. But also, let's pray tonight for the power of God. Let's keep praying over the weeks to come. You know, I'm believing for the miraculous. You know, I long to see the miraculous take place more and more. So let's pray for that, that there will be signs and wonders. Let's pray that we'll see our nation turned around in the days and the weeks to come. Well, I'm so glad that we've been able to join together tonight. I pray you've been encouraged by the service tonight. And I want you to know this evening that we are here for you, that we are praying for you. Stay connected with us as a church through social media, through our website as well. And if there's anything you need, then please get in touch with us. But please know we are praying for you. And I hope that you have a great week this week. Amen. God bless.